Sorry, I'll be with you in two seconds. Okay. So When you're ready. No. Well, I wouldn't have dropped in. Not in the ordinary way. Especially when they had company only on a Tuesday. Mrs. Parry and I make a habit of meeting at the pictures if there's anything nice. Well, after you've been round with the dust, so there's nothing much to fill the afternoon. And no one wants to sit about like a mutt. And don't laugh, will you? But they reduce the prices for old age pensioners. I don't know whether anyone considers themselves an old age pensioner. <laughs> I know I don't. But when you're trying to manage on so little, a few shillings is a consideration. Not that my husband ever thought I'd be this hard up. He paid enough for his private pension and insurance, in case something happened to him first. Anyway, last week, Mrs. Parry rang and said she couldn't see me on a Tuesday. That was on Thursday. Or was it Friday? As she had to stay in for a vacuum. I said, but surely to goodness a vacuum can come in the morning or any other afternoon. It doesn't have to be the very day we go out. She said, my dear, nowadays when you're told to expect a vacuum on a Tuesday, there's very little you can say to stop it. So I said, all right then, I'll do some last minute Christmas shopping in the afternoon and meet you in the Odeon Cafe, what, half past four? And we can see Julie Andrews in the evening. Then over the weekend, I finished the cardigan I've been knitting Josephine. Well, knitting passes the time, and if you didn't have some diver, you'd sit around like a blooming nun. I don't encourage neighbours. One thing can so easily lead to another with neighbours, you find them taking advantage. So it's very lonely. Hour after hour. Stuck out to a leg. With no one to talk to. Why do so many cardigans the poor might dribbles? Not in the way of baby dribbles, even worse than that. It's not nice to talk about, I know, but she can't seem to regulate the flow. Which means a lot of washing for her mother, and I've said to Sheila often enough, she should wear a plastic bib. But you can't say a lot, can you? That's been an interfering mother-in-law. I do believe if I said Sheila, whatever you do, do not put her in a plastic bib. The poor might be stuck in a plastic bib morning, noon and night like a blooming nun.